Now, first warning weather with meteorologist Natalie Stoll. So you're saying we're going to be a little cooler tonight? A little cooler tonight than last night. Temperatures already colder than we were this morning. Yep. So we're headed to the 40s through the overnight hours. It's a pretty quiet night out there, though. We had some cloud cover roll in this afternoon, mainly upper level cirrus clouds. Uh, didn't really impact our temperatures too much and won't as we go through the rest of the overnight hours, but they'll stick around through the time the sun comes up tomorrow. Right now, temperatures are in the mid 40s in places like Mason and San Saba already. Upper 40s in Lampasas and Burnett, Georgetown as well. Still low 30. Slow 50s, I should say, as you head to our eastern counties, 53 right now in Bastrop. Currently at Camp Mabry, mostly clear skies, 53 degrees, 44 out at the airport, with partly cloudy skies there. Again, that's, that's upper level cirrus clouds, dew points in the 20s, now into the low 30s out of ABIA. But we still have a mostly dry air mass in place, except for the very upper levels of the atmosphere. Winds currently calm out of the northeast, northwest out at Camp Mabry, three miles an hour, very calm out of the airport. For the time being, they'll stay quiet through the overnight hours. Here's where things were a little uncomfortable during the day. We had beautiful afternoon temperatures, but unfortunately the allergens were very uncomfortable. Mold with a count of uh, over 1,700. That's the high category. Cedar with a count of over 8,000 parts per million. Very high. And unfortunately it looks like these counts are going to stick around through tomorrow as well. Well, we have seen that cloud cover, like I've said, moving in with that Pacific moisture over much of central Texas. Very thin upper level cloud cover. Our cold front now well off the coast, taking with it all of our wet weather, but we are already tracking our next uh, system that's going to impact our weather here in central Texas. It's an area of low pressure just off the coast of California. It's going to make its way into the Four Corners region and down into Texas by Saturday, bringing us a chance for some shower activity by Saturday afternoon and evening, and even a few thunderstorms. Those will be concentrated, though, mainly east of the I-35 corridor. That whole system will pull through by Sunday morning, taking with it the rest of that wet weather, and then we're tracking even bigger changes into early next week. So in the upper levels of the atmosphere, here's what we're going to look at. There's that area of low pressure I was talking about. You can watch it make its way across the Four Corners region down into Texas. That's when we can see some of that wet weather Saturday evening. And then we're going to watch for the possibility of Arctic air to make its way in by Monday. A very strong cold front making its way with that coldest air from north of, uh, of Alaska down through the Rockies and into Texas by Monday uh, and into Tuesday as well. Uh, that means that cold blast will keep temperatures well below normal for this time of year. It's going to be dry, though, as it looks right now. That's a good thing. We don't want any precipitation with air that cold working its way into central Texas. Tonight, here's what you can expect. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s across the board for tomorrow, mid-60s in Austin tonight, right around 40 degrees with the cloud cover beginning to clear out. So mostly sunny for tomorrow, 66. And your seven-day forecast shows there's that chance of rain on Saturday. A little bit cooler just because of the cloud cover, the wet weather that could roll in. By Sunday, it clears out. Slightly colder conditions by Monday. And then the really cold air sets in. To kind of put this in perspective, 40 degrees is our typical overnight low. On Tuesday, that could be our high for the day. And, of course, there is some wiggle room in this as well. It is still a wild out, so we will be watching this and tweaking it over the next couple of days. You can start out your day tomorrow with a fresh forecast at 5 a.m. Uh, first warning weather and traffic comes together every 10 minutes.